you want to pour a bowl of cereal before we start filming? Like, <laughs> that was the plan. What do you have, what, Matt? What kind of cereal are we having today, bud? None, because I ate it all. <laughs> hey, what's good, guys? Keaton here, and I'm super excited because I've been waiting to make this video forever. Um, it's 2016, and it has been eight years since I've touched a BlackBerry smartphone. Drop a like rating on this video if you guys own a BlackBerry, like your boy, and yeah, let's check it out. Okay, we're gonna take a quick trip down memory lane before we hop on into this box, but it was fall of 2008. I'd worked all summer, saved up all my money, and I really wanted a real smartphone. Previously, I had like a Motorola Crazer. If you remember that, you're a real OG. Um, so, had enough money finally, and uh, I ended up getting a BlackBerry 8300. My parents had Blackberries, and I was like, whoa, that's so cool, your QWERTY keyboard is awesome. So I, I got the BlackBerry 8300, and it was the coolest phone ever. The Pearl, mine had the Pearl on there, I had the QWERTY keyboard, I was slaying it on text messages. Um, I think I had like three girlfriends at the time, because it was like middle school, and like no one took it seriously. And I was able to keep up with all that, because I had that QWERTY keyboard. Those were the good old days. And now eight years later, the BlackBerry Priv showed up, so it's kind of a very soft spot in my heart because that was like my first phone and I was I was running the game at the time. And now I'm so used to the iPhone's touchscreen that this is really gonna be a throwback from the past. So what's cool about the BlackBerry Priv now in 2016 is it's running Android 5.1.1. It has a full QWERTY keyboard, touchscreen, all that stuff. And I really miss the old BlackBerry operating system. I miss it so much, you know? I don't know if I'm ever gonna see her again. So let's go and jump into this box here. This box is freaking huge. Like, I have not seen a box this big. Like, here's my iPhone, here's the box. It's a pretty substantial box. So let's go and open this guy. If I can open it. It says Blackberry, oh my god. Powered by Android, ooh, that was, that, that took some effort. That was like the most exercise I've had in the day. Cool, opening it up. We got the Priv right here, which stands for Privilege and Privacy. I'm definitely gonna need the privacy. The privilege. What? What else we got in the box? We got some paperwork. I can't read, so we're not gonna get that. SIM tool. I'll definitely be needing that. What else we got? We got a wall brick. Cool headphones. Cool micro USB cable. That's I. Right. That's I. Right. So let's set all this to the side. Oh. I tried my best there. She fell. And here is the priv. This feels so much different than like what I used to remember a BlackBerry as. My phone was fat, it was thick, it didn't even have an HD screen. And now I have like this piece of technology eight years later. I don't know, kind of like, it hits a soft spot in my heart. So yeah, just looking at the phone, it is so much thinner than my old BlackBerry. Um, it feels a lot sleeker, it got a nice 18 megapixel camera on the back. My old one had like, I think a two megapixel camera on it. Got some flash, the backing feels nice. Um, it's super thin, that's like the one thing I'm noticing. And this mechanism, if I don't break, I, I, I bet money right now guys, we're gonna have a little side bet, that this phone ends up breaking just when I'm like trying to pass time and I'm like sliding it up and down. It's very satisfying. And here's the QWERTY keyboard, oh I missed you. Oh my God, it's such a throwback. All right, so let's go and power this guy on. Now that I got the BlackBerry Priv all set up, I have to check out the keyboard. Old 2008 Keaton is telling me to check out the keyboard. So we're gonna go into the Notes app. We're gonna just type a quick note. Hey, it's Keaton from Alt to Alt 8. See, in my day, we always had to hit the Alt key because that's just what I'm used to and that's how you you know, specified which type of key we wanted to hit. If you wanna hit the number or the letter and that's just kind of a habit. Part of me just doesn't want to use the digital keyboard or the touchscreen keyboard at all for this. So, let's go back here. Okay, like, you you do you. A little slow. Yeah, definitely slow. Like, can I go back, maybe? Oh, there we go. 2008. That keyboard is not what I remembered it. Now, of course, this is just my first impressions, but like, I just missed the spaced out keys. Let's check out the keys on the side here. Hey, it's Keaton from 2008. Yeah, I, I type so much faster on the digital keyboard now because we've been so used to touchscreen phones. That's so, I don't know, that's just so strange. I don't know what I like better. I'm, with my BlackBerry, I, the keys were separated. It was just a lot easier to feel. I don't know if I'm a fan of them being all smushed together here. There are rays and that's kind of nice, but yeah, we'll have to figure that one out. 
Uh, I like this front facing speaker. I definitely want to check that out. But I think I'm a big fan of the hardware. Um, I like it. I think the glass on the front is nice. Having Android is always a solid, um, always a solid option over BlackBerry OS because I don't even know what that would look like in 2016. So definitely want to take a closer look at this. But man, this has really been a blast from the past. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Drop a like rating on this video if you guys want me to use this and only this phone for a week which means iPhone 6s Plus is going bye-bye. Probably just cracked it even more. Go and get subscribed if you haven't already, and follow me on Snapchat and Twitter as I'm super active over there. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.